Hey, it's Booty Quake with Roller Skate Club, and today I'm gonna to help you get rolling on your roller skates for the very first time. So first up, we're gonna make sure your skates are in good shape. So whether you've ridden them before or not, let's have a little safety check. Make sure all the wheels spin, give a really hard twist on your toe stop, and make sure it's on firmly. Little shake, make sure nothing sounds rattly, and then a visual check. Are there, is there a nut everywhere? It looks like there should be a nut. Uh, if not, call your skate shop. Okay, now I want you to put on all your gear, except for your roller skates for this next part. So let's go over that. Helmet on, two fingers above your eyebrows, okay, you don't want it back here like this. And these little adjustos, which is a super technical term, um, should be right under your earlobes where your earrings should connect with them, okay? And then two fingers under here. Wrist guards, all right, there's a bulbous part of your wrist guard and it should fit over the bulbous part of the palm of your hand. Your thumb goes through the hole and you do them up nice and snug. Honestly, the hardest part about roller skating for the first time is getting your wrist guards on right way around. So if you pass that test, you're halfway there, right? The battle is halfway won. Uh, your knee pads. You want to make sure that they're up nice and high so that all this sexy calf is hanging out the bottom and make sure they're up nice and high so that when you bend, um, it's over the bending part of your knee. Because you'll need that. Let's talk about your posture in your roller skates. Okay, so still no skates on for you. Uh, when you're in your roller skates, you want your knees nice and bent. Uh, if you touch the tops of your knee pads with your fingertips, chest up, looking off into the distance, not looking down, that's the place you want to be. So now, I want you to pay attention to where your knees are. If you look at me, if I were to sneak a little look down, um, I see only knee pads, no skates. If I were to look down and I see all of my shoelaces like this, that means I'm in a bad position for roller skating and I'm likely to lose my balance out the back. And we really want to avoid that. So send your knees forward over your toes. If you should have a wobble in your roller skates, I'm going to teach you the oh no, get low position. This is your safety zone, all right? So you're losing your balance. You don't want to go backwards like this, which is our our desire, our natural tendency. Instead, we want to go, oh no, get low. Grab the backs of your calves. That's going to put you nice and low to the ground. And it's going to get your center of gravity right where you want it to be with your knees forward so that you probably won't fall down. If you do fall down, which also happens in roller skates, then we're in a good position there. So you want to try to fall forwards if you can because you've got all this nice hard stuff up here and that's what it's designed for. So if you're losing your balance because you're doing something so cool, I want you to practice going, oh no, get low, and down to the ground. All right, so you can see that this can slide and can take my weight and it's not gonna hurt me and it's not gonna hurt the ground. Falling forwards should always be your default position, but if you should happen to be headed backwards and you can't prevent it, First of all, oh no, get low, because that's going to put you closer to the ground. Your ass is going to have less distance to fall. The second thing is, pick a cheek, okay? So I don't know if it's your favorite cheek or your least favorite cheek, but you're going to pick a side to fall down, all right? This is my favorite cheek, so I'm going to go, whoa, oh no, get low, pick a cheek. So I've gone onto one side and not onto my tailbone. Next up is our foot positions. So we like to talk about this like the gears in your car. So if your feet are parallel like this, you are in what we call neutral, okay? Just like in your car, you can't get any power like this. If I try to skate like this, I'm not gonna go anywhere. So this is good for coasting, slowing down, and gathering yourself before you try something really cool. Not good for moving forwards. If you want to move forwards on your roller skates, you have to put your feet into the drive position, which looks like this, with your toes out just a little bit. So, if I just shift my weight and sit and lift side to side, then in the drive position, naturally my skates are gonna to wanna to move forward. Conversely, this is gonna be the brakes position right here. It's the opposite. Knees in, toes in, heels out. This is how I'm going to stop myself in my roller skates, all right? Also happens to be reverse, which is super handy, okay? Uh, we also have a parking brake, so put your car on a hill, you don't want your car to roll away. This little ballet third position situation here, this is your parking brake. So if you stand here like this, 
especially if you're outside, if there's any little slopes at all, this is gonna make you feel super stable. So to review, we have neutral, you can't move forward like this or backward. We have drive, toes out. We have the brakes, toes in. We have the parking brake. And we have the emergency brake. Okay, go put your roller skates on. We're finally ready to roll. Let's do this. All right, you've got your roller skates on and we're gonna talk about how to get up off the ground. So put your skates on sitting on the ground for me the first time. And then sometimes people think that this is the way to get up on roller skates, but good luck with that. Instead, I want you to get on your hands and knees. And we're gonna do this uh, frog dog situation. So this is the dog and then we're gonna go to frog. So I want you to put all of your four wheels down and put your weight on your hands and then all your other wheels down in this little froggy position here. Roll your feet together into that park position and walk your hands up, standing. Woo! We did it. Okay, remember to keep your knees bent, core tight, chest up, looking off into the distance. Very tempting to see what's happening with all the wheelie things down here, but keep your chin up. So now we're gonna start moving for the very first time on our roller skates. Oh my gosh, so exciting! Okay, what I need you to do is to put your feet in a little V like this, and then I'm gonna get you to shift your weight side to side, and then start shift and lift, sitting and lifting, and you are gonna start rolling. Woo! Okay, and as you get more confident with this movement, you're gonna change it into more of a glide. Always with your toes pointing out, remember that? Now you're rolling. So the next thing you wanna learn how to do is the stopping part of roller skating. Very important, all right? So the stop that we always teach at Roller Skate Club is the plow stop. It will help you to be very stable, both feet on the ground at the same time, and nice and low to the ground. It's gonna help you stop confidently, okay? So we talked before about the brakes position with our feet. So the, this is what's gonna help you to plow. It's just like in skiing, if you do the, um, french fries and a pizza, you are going to get that snow plow feeling with your skates, all right? So you're gonna end up kind of looking like this, like you're sitting on a porta potty, all right? So we do this in a couple of steps to get you going the first time. We're gonna go up, down, out, porta potty. Watch this. Up, down, out, porta potty. Let's see it again. Here we go. Up, down, out, portal. Things to think about to make your plow stop work better for you. Number one, the lower you get, the easier it will be. Number two, um, it's the inside edges of your inside wheels that are gonna be scraping against the ground. So drop your knees into the center and really think about those inside edges. All right, so let me show you coming towards you what that's gonna look like. Here we go. Ta-da! I've taught you everything you need to know to get up and rolling and stopping on your roller skates for the very first time. I just want to say that I am so excited for you because you're going to start roller skating and you're going to uh, have your eyes open to this incredible world that exists before you. So much fun. I want you to remember that everybody's journey is different. So if you find this really challenging at the front or you just need to hold on to something for dear life while you get your wheels under you, like that's totally fine. Give it some time, give it some practice and you're gonna get there and you're gonna see this amazing uh, experience of roller skating unfold in front of you and I'm so excited for you. Good luck with your skating, stay safe, wear all your gear. Adios.